Hey, how's it going? So, uh, I've seen a lot of comments on different threads, different forums, Facebooks, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, MySpace, uh, about different things such as the 30-something. The question always comes up about how they don't, actually it's not really a question, it's more like uh, a thought about how some people don't, don't really get what I was going for. So, I wanted to create a video to show you exactly what I was going for. What, just to kind of backtrack a little bit, what I really wanted was an AC30 or an AC15 sound out of like a Fender Blackface or you know a Tweed Amp or anything other than a Vox. But I, I love that chimey sound. So right now, I'm mic'd up on a, these are just like stock. I th think they're made in China, so they're the cheaper version of like the AC-15. The clean tone on this, on the, I'm on, on the top boost setting. It's that chiminess, it just, I love that chime. The problem with that is a lot of times you'll use, uh, well, a lot of, to be honest with you, it's really hard finding, uh, to get, you know, if you're like me, you have a bunch of overdrives, and like 10% of them work really well with the box, or with the Voxy chimey style thing, not just the Vox, that sort of style amp. Uh, and it's just, they're just really chimey, sound great clean. Uh, sometimes they sound good turned up, uh, if you like that sort of sound. But the chime, I love the chime. I dig it. So that's the AC-15 right there. So let me run the AC-30 and we'll see how that compares. Oh, by the way, the AC-15 has a Celestian Blue in it. The AC-30 has Greenbacks in it. And yeah, so let's switch amps. I've moved over to the AC-30. This one is a that's the one you've seen on other videos. It's the hand wired one. It's got greenbacks in it. I'm on the Top Boost channel. Again on this one. Ooh, fudge that one. I like that a lot too. On the neck. Same sort of problem with that style amp though. It's just uh, you run uh, an overdrive in front of it and sometimes it gets a little fizzy. Now let's go on to the Deluxe Reverb. I'm going to run the Ace 30 something pedal. Well, I call it that because it used to be called the Ace 30. Then we got into some trouble with the name. Long story. I can't talk about it. So we named the the 30 something rather than you know go to court and pay hundred thousand dollars in order to say we were right. It's all under the, uh, water under the bridge. We changed the name to the 30 something, and I'm going to put the 30 something now on the Fender amp. Let's do it. Okay, so I have changed to the Deluxe Reverb. I'm on the the normal channel because um, it actually works a little bit better with pedals, I think. My clean tone without anything on. So I'm in the 30 setting, which is like a higher headroom thing. It's not gonna clip that much. Uh, just 
to kind of borrow a phrase, who's the company that did this? Somebody came out with an underdrive or something. And it's the perfect name because that's exactly what I would call this pedal is like an underdrive rather than a gainy pedal. It's going to change your clean tone. So without the 30 something, with it on. Put a little more top cut in it. Uh, yeah, so it's it's just chimier, you know, on the neck. So yeah, I dig it. If I take it over the 15 setting, what you're gonna notice is it's gonna roll off a little more highs and it's gonna get a little more gaining. And I've also got to set the EQ a little different. I'm gonna back the bass off right around, right around 10 o'clock. So with the gain up and the bass down, setting I back the gain off on that I really I really consider like the 15 setting more like if you want kind of a crunchy sort of sound use the 15 setting if you just like want to tailor your clean sound to what you would get with a, a Vox style platform I guess for lack of a better description then uh, I usually run on the 30 and I'd get you this Oh, got the bass down. So I just realized that I actually didn't do any sort of sound clip with the uh, AC30 cranked up all the way. So I uh, cranked it up all the way on the top boost channel, rolled the bass off just like I did on the 30 something, and uh, here's what it sounds like. As I uh, said on a previous vlog that uh, about the, the Vox sound, like I, I'm not crazy about the sound of it when it's cranked. It's just a little mushy on the bottom end. Just not my personal cup of tea. But I do feel that the 15 setting captures that fairly well. So uh, once again, to compare, we'll run it on the Deluxe Reverb and compare it. And yeah, see what it sounds like. I'm on the Deluxe Reverb now and I have the 30 something on. I have it on the 30 setting. Back that bass back down again. Here we go. So of course there's not as much gain to it, so that's why I have the boost. I'll kick the boost on. So that's with the boost on, that's the 15 setting, which has more gain on the deluxe reverb. That's what it sounds like. So I hope this helped you. If you have any comments or questions, please 
comment below, uh, give a thumbs up if you like us, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. You're still here? Dude, go home. <laughs>